welcome if you are new here or welcome back if you have been here before i am freya this is budgie budgets and today is sunday um i do apologize i know this video is up really really late because i'm only filming it just now and it's already really really late on sunday um Oh gosh, it's just been one of those busy weekends and the fatigue is extreme at the moment. So do forgive me if I mess up. I have the worst brain fog. Um, I think I'm going to have to go into the GP probably this week and just have my iron levels tested to see if that is what is dragging me down. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. I will try and make it a quick one so that I can get it uploaded on Sunday as is meant to be. Um, okay, so we are unstuffing. Um, ooh, what do I need from here? I need, I think it's 110, but we might have to see if we can find some change. Let's see. Let's just take, um, let's take 105. We'll see if we come across change. I'm pretty sure we will because we need to unstuff all of gas. Yeah, here we go. So we're taking 200, 400, 450, 500, 520, 530, 535 out of gas because we paid that bill. Um, it was a little bit overdue, so I missed it by a couple of days. I really hope that they don't hit me with an overdue uh, amount. Okay, so we're going to put that five back, take the 20 and add an extra 10. So there's 65 left in subscription. And we're taking that 110. That was for my Microsoft subscription that went through um moving forward that'll be coming out of my uh budgie budgets budget um because i use microsoft almost entirely for budgie budgets i don't really use it for anything else um so that's everything from in here and then uh nothing in there but in this one we are unstuffing a little bit of money from gifts so we have to take 25 out of here so we'll take that five I should have got out my cash tray shouldn't I uh, it was my stepmom's birthday last week so I put in with my uh, brother and sister-in-law to buy her something and what else uh, school is losing everything and then some. So we're unstuffing uh, 20, 40, 50, and I am putting more money towards that from this week's budget, as you will see, uh, because I uh, just everyone apparently has excursions and things. So my older daughter has a week long excursion coming up in a few weeks. That was $80. Then my younger daughter has grade two sleepover, which was $20 and another excursion that was $33. And I had to pay for her entry for the color run, which is $10. And there was something else. Oh, there was something else and I can't remember what it was, but I spent a small fortune this week on school related things. So <laughs> that is all coming out and it needs more. And we are taking $10, uh, $20 out of family funds. So that has 20, 40, $60 left in there. And that was just a few bits and pieces like over the, um, oh, I, bought my new, I bought my youngest daughter a new book this week and I couldn't really think of where else to take that from because I don't have any money in books currently. Um, and we got some snacks because we went on a little country adventure yesterday with my brother-in-law to have a look at a house, um, but we didn't really like it, so um yeah okay so we have taken out 200 400 500 550 600 20 40 60 80 700 and 40 dollars ouch <laughs> most of that though is our gas bill um so you know what can you do okay uh next we are going to do our roundup challenge and this will confirm it's been a spendy week because we have $6.44 going into here. So I will speed this up for you. And nine is the last one. There we go. So we're doing pretty well with that, which is good. It's nice to have that little savings just 
building up without us even realizing that it's happening. Um, now I have not, I have not done my weekly check in this week. I just, I just haven't, <laughs> I just, uh, it was struggle enough to get on to do our, uh, budget for the week. So, okay. Sorry. I just had to ask my son to stop playing with his remote control car for a minute because it's obnoxiously noisy when he's running up and down the hallway right outside where I'm filming. <laughs> Okay. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I haven't done my weekly check-in. I just, yeah, um, this week has gotten on top of me in a big way. So, but we haven't spent anything out of chemist. We don't have anything left in takeaway. We don't have anything left in petrol. We did have, uh, I think about $30 left in groceries. So yay. <laughs> yay for having money left in groceries. Um, so, our income for this week, it is a smaller income week, is $1,355. Um, I think all of, our, all of our incomes for the next probably four to six weeks are going to be changing like every, <laughs> like every pay cycle. Um, so because Hubby is finishing up at his old job today, uh, this week, not today, <laughs> this week on Thursday. Um, so, um, but he's then taking leave. He had a lot of annual leave and long service leave accrued. So he's got, he finishes up on the Thursday, but then he has like two and a half to three weeks of leave. Um, so I'm not sure whether they're going to pay that all out, um, like in his next paycheck or whether it won't like whether they'll pay them him normally until the leave ends, and then obviously he'll start at his new job. But there's going to be a, a bit of a strange adjustment between his last paycheck at his old job and his first paycheck at his new job because they don't pay on exactly the same cycle. There's a few days between, I think. Um, so he usually gets paid on a Monday every fortnight. I think now he will be getting paid on a Wednesday every fortnight. So I'm not sure if that will change how I do this or not. Um, yeah, I'm just going to kind of have to wait and see, um, and what he's being paid. We have discovered that there is a, a salary packaging that he might be able to take advantage of, uh, because of the type of company that he's going to work for. So we have to work that out and see, but if that is the case, it's likely that a portion of his salary might go directly towards our utility bills or our rent or something like that. Um, which is a way of minimizing how much tax you have to pay basically. So, um, yeah, we'll see, but it's probably, it's obviously going to be changing a little bit. Also the amount we get from Centrelink will change a little bit because we are entitled to, uh, rent assistance and that will change because our rent is changing in November. So, um, yeah. Uh, so speaking of 305 of this pay is going towards rent and that is all of the bills for this pay. And then variable expenses, groceries is getting 345 this week. Um, takeaway is getting 60. And petrol's getting 80. What else is in here? Chemist is getting its usual 10. And spending is getting 20. Actually, I've just remembered that I was also going to unstuff nails, but that's okay. I'll, um, as you can see, I took them off. My nails just grow too fast, you guys. <laughs> I was a okay with paying for it when I was like, I can afford to cover this out of my spending money each month because I'll only be getting them refilled once a month. There's no way I can stretch them to a month after two weeks. They're too long. Like, I don't like that you can see how they're all growing out. My fingernails feel too long. I don't, yeah, and I'm like, no, there's no way I'm happy to pay to have them refilled twice a month. Like, that's more than my spending money can cover, and so I don't want to do it. Um, so, yeah, they're gone. <laughs> I just soaked them off myself, um, but yeah. Uh, and then school is getting 100, which is pretty much, yeah, all already spent on all of those things I mentioned before, which isn't really much fun. Uh, so 615 going into there and that leaves us with 435 and then I just realized I've not totaled these out on their own so just bear with me a sec okay so cash envelopes will be getting 345 and then 
and then and then and then sorry guys mental blank mini mondays will be getting its regular 30 and savings challenges is getting 60. now i did originally want uh that's our 435 which is our zero base budget I did originally have $50 budgeted from in here to go directly into the crystal binder. That was my plan. However, because of all of the school stuff, um, the amount that I still need for Christmas and so on and so forth, I'm not going to do that. I've rolled it into other envelopes and into this school amount. Sorry, guys. I'm going to be super breathless. Um, so I have already been started. I know I'm sure I'm not the only one. I know a lot of people at this time of year start looking at what they're going to do budgeting wise next year, what kind of plan are they going to use, what kind of, you know, whether they're making changes to their envelopes and that sort of thing. It is definitely something that I am looking at. Um, I do feel like at this point, just given, I suppose given everything, but in particular because of the last few weeks, my health is on the decline again, which really, really sucks. Um, it really, really does, but it does mean that I'm going to have to, I have been pushing myself really, really hard. Um, with budget budgets <laughs> and um like that's that's no one no one's fault but my own like I genuinely truly appreciate everyone's support and everyone's orders it has been the most just incredible thing but I just need to work on um how I structure um running it I suppose like how I can have the most products available without burning myself out because I'm currently working a lot of hours. Like when I worked out what I'm paying myself per hour, it's pretty horrifying. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, I think what I might need to do is kind of have where I can, obviously with not with, with all of my products, it's not possible because some of them are customizable, like envelopes in particular, um, but where I can to have the products pre-made and then only list them in, in stock when, you know, I have them made and ready to go. That way it's good for you guys because I can post them out straight away. And it's better for me because I don't then always have this looming deadline where I feel like I have to rush, 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 rush to get everything done on time. Um, and like I said, that's not always going to be the case because that's the nature of making an item that is customizable. Um, but yeah, I think I have to work on that a little bit. So just because I'm not... Basically what I think I will do, um, just because obviously any income through budget budgets is not a sure thing. Um, I just want to budget with the money we have and I want to make sure I'm covering fundamentals. And I think at the moment I'm just not, I'm not making sure that enough money is going into like our school envelope, our clothing envelope, our medical envelope, all of these things that could really use a bit more money each week, um, which I'm kind of leeching from so that I can play savings games. But then I'm not always putting that money back where it should be going once I've you know, once I've finished a challenge, if you know what I mean. Um, so I think for now, while I'm still in this stage of building, that I do need to pair some things back. So that will be the plan. I mean, everything will be the same for November. Possibly in December, I will start, um, yeah, a different, a different way of budgeting. So I am contemplating doing a system where even for our monthly bills, everything gets contributed to weekly instead of coming out of one paycheck for the entire month. That way our like paychecks are literally on autopilot. I don't have to do anything. I know exactly where that money is going every single week. It doesn't really require any more planning. I think that's the most foolproof way I can do it to make sure that if my health does keep declining, the wheels don't fall off our budgeting like it did last time. Um, so I think that's how I'm going to kind of health proof <laughs> our budgeting where I can um so I will explain it a little bit more as I go if I do go that way it may mean that um these budget with me's become a little bit redundant like I'm still happy to do them if people still want to watch them but it may well mean that I'm literally writing down the same thing every single week um so but I do still think it's interesting to see like what's being unstuffed and I suppose if there is overspending where that's being covered and things like that, um, maybe that's still interesting for you guys as well. Um, so let me know what you think, but, um, it might even roll it into a fortnightly thing because I think that my husband's new pay cycle is going to fall very, very close to our pay cycle that we get from the government. 
So I think those paychecks are only going to be two days apart now, whereas before they were like a week apart. I think now they're going to fall within two days of each other. So if that's the case, I'm probably better off just budgeting that whole amount of money together. Um, and then, yeah, so maybe this becomes just like a fortnightly thing if you guys are still interested. Um, and we'll go from there. But yeah, we'll see. I definitely, if I do start this new method of budgeting, I do want to start it in December because when you trans, when you change things to weekly, um, you're always going to have a bit of a shortfall until your first goal and pay month because, um, yeah, because not every month is a golden pay month, obviously, and you need that extra month to buffer up your categories for all of the months that you don't have a golden pay. That's kind of how it works when you divide a monthly bill by the weeks. So our next golden paycheck is, whoa, is it in December? <laughs> it would have been in December. I'm thinking it probably still will be. I will have to double check. So it'll, it will either be in December or January, I would have thought, but I will have to double check because, yeah, that's when I would want to start it so that we're in a golden pay month. It does, it does effectively mean golden paychecks don't mean anything anymore. Like they're not special because the same amount comes out of them just as every other paycheck, but I'm okay with that. Um, I'm fine with that. So... Yeah, we'll see how we go, but I think I will be changing things up a little bit. Um, certainly not for November. November will all stay the same. Um, but yeah, maybe after that, mini Mondays might get a little bit less. It might be $20 a week instead of $30, um, just so that I can focus on getting that money elsewhere. Having said that, I'm just as likely to completely change my mind tomorrow. <laughs> so we'll see. All right, you guys, I will stop taking up all of your time and I will hurry this along so that I can get it uploaded for you this afternoon. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Sorry, it was a quick one. Sorry, it was a late one, but I will see you for a much more fun and entertaining mini Mondays tomorrow. I hope that you join me then. Okay. I love you. Bye-bye.